Good afternoon, I'm Ramon Martinez from La Raza Historical Society. It is October the 21st, and we're visiting the Alviso Adobe Park, which is the site of the original Alviso Adobe. <laughs> uh, t-shirt. Your t-shirt. Bobcats. The yeah. Bobcats. Ooh, look at that ribbon. Oh. So I'm it's guessing. A, um, yeah. just in. We're having a conversation yeah, clarifying the difference between Alviso, California and the Alviso Adobe. And this is Joseph Earhart who's the, the docent for the Milpitas Historical Society, who has written about this topic. So will you tell us the basic story? Okay, so the, this is Jose Maria de Jesus Alviso's house. This was his property in 1835. His father was uh, Francisco Javier Alviso, and, and his uncle, Jose's uncle, was Ignacio, and Ignacio is the founder of the town. The town of El Piso is, is named after him, of course. Here, come on, just come. Take, take a walk around this way. Just kind of walk, walk clockwise a bit. Take a look at the, uh, take a look at the uh, things that happened in here. So these are all, this is what it would have looked like, you know, in this very room here. These walls have seen all of this. These walls have heard the music they made. Uh, the celebrations and sad times they had, um, you know, and it's, it still floats around in here. You can see a little bit of timeline here. You'll see various timelines throughout the different rooms. That's what they used to look like. Oh, Yeah, that's right. That's the apricots that are in the back. That's right. And notice the wallpaper, all, all the different layers of wallpaper, uh, which represent different eras of time, uh, from the straight plaster and adobe walls to uh, you know, an earlier news, uh, paper that I think has had a design that faded, to uh, you know paper from probably 100, 120 years ago here. So back back then, you know, there were no hotels in, uh, you know, especially around here. And when people were traveling around, uh, you know, it was very common to, to just take people in. And so the, they they would take people in when uh, if, a, if a traveler came to the door and they kept extra linens and blankets and, and things for that. Yeah, make them a cup of tea. Yeah, they probably some of the early history here of, uh, uh, from the Muwakma Alonis through to, through uh, time here. Bedroom now. 
a, a closet from the 1940s, from the middle of the time the Cousies lived here, and from the 1840s, you know, the earlier time that the Alvisos lived here. And a lot of the uh, artifacts here, mostly from the Cousy time, which is, you know, like, yeah, between the 1920s and, and about 1990, this house was continually inhabited for 150 years, from 1835 to, to end of the 80s, early 90s. I sent an email to Jim today to see if I can figure that one out. Um, and uh, you can see here this telephone book from 1945. Um, you can see the actual phone number for the uh, the, the koozies. Yeah, right at the very top there. So we can stand over here, pretty much near the closet. Come on over this, this way. This wall and this wall will be the video. We'll, we'll watch. So we'll watch we'll the other walls. That corner. These will be the talking walls. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The Alviso family lived in this house for 85 years. For much of that time, life was simple. Each day would begin with opening the adobe doors to let in air and light. Um, Dennis, who was you know, the one who drove the tractor on the wall there, actually sent me an email this morning with some other questions of, you know, we're still learning, you know, trying to piece together things as well, but uh, I'm very excited to uh, have them here. Yes, huh? <clears throat> so you can see how the wood, wood lath worked with it. How the plaster in here. Is this original um, wallpaper? Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> this, I mean, this actually, no, no, this is original. This is original. What is the hole for down there? That hole is a mystery. Oh, okay. And you will see, um, you'll see that in the film. They talk about it. Uh, nobody, nobody knows what it's for. I actually crawl in there a little bit to see what there. It kind of hits a wall. It's kind of a Winchester wow. mystery house sort of thing. Yeah. It had a purpose because it's trimmed out. It wasn't know. like an oven. Yeah. Or? It, it could have been like a little dog house or something. Um, Who knows? It's, it's um, you know, it, it, whatever it is, we've lost history because I think the, the, the surviving Lucy people don't know. And yeah. The, like she brought her stuff to Adam, but we said, what if it really is haunted? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the upper floor is kind of like. This floor here, and there's, there's rooms upstairs, and they still have their old wallpaper and, and stuff. So anyway, this was. Um, so this is the old wall, um, and then, so this was the whole house until 1922. The Cousies, when they bought the house, uh, they added a kitchen, and this is the kitchen here, and you can see. You can see how thick this becomes now because you have both the adobe wall and they built a whole new wall here. So this is basically a, a separate building. Um, you know, not, not just not just using the outside wall. There are studs behind here, so we have a very uh, you know almost four foot thick space here. <clears throat> this was the kitchen, and this kitchen is basically how it would have looked like in the 1930s and 1940s. Uh, does anybody know how to use a dial telephone? Yes. I still, I still remember. remember. You remember? I still remember. Yeah. yeah, I remember. I think Ramon remembers, right? I remember. Yes. <laughs> that was, the, that was the, their phone number in the 1950s-ish. Oh, that just is a, that, that, that's, that's, yeah, that's, um, that's not, that, 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 that's the, the Cousy's remote. Yeah. yeah. How, many, how many numbers do you see on the phone uh, number for kids? 
How many numbers? Nine. Nine? What was their phone number? Nine one five one. That's it. Yeah. Simple. Their, their number was actually their, their, their number was actually Cypress five nine one five one, and you can see the letters A B C. You, and they still are on phones today. Um, you'd spell the first letter. So you'd be two nine for the Y, then five. See those are capitalized. And then nine one five one. And that's how you know. So this actually did have a seven digit number um, at that point. Um, and, but the phone, the phone number they had before this was part of what was called an exchange. Um, so you had to actually manually call an operator. Mm -hmm. oh. and, and it was Ballard 3856W or something. It was a, a party line. Mr. Bear, tell us about a, um, what, what would you call it? A, the party lines. Party lines? Yeah, so the kids know what's a party line. Yes. So a party line was that they didn't have enough lines to go to individual houses, so people would share four connections. So everybody would have the same phone number, so their number would be 9151, but it would be either uh, J, R, W, um, what was the other one? There were four of them. Uh, M, J, M, R, and W. So it would be. So this might be the third line of that, and it would be nine one five one R. Okay. Now what would happen is they would have a special ring. The operator would would say, okay, someone's trying to call the koozies. So their ring might go ring, 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 ring. You had different, uh, you know, different patterns. So someone ring, ring. Ring, ring, you know. Um, so when they hear, everybody would hear ring, 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 and um, but they'd know, oh, that's for the koozies. So of course, everybody else would listen too. <laughs> ah. And, and, and uh, yeah, you could, and, and people would sometimes say, is anybody else on the line? Can you please hang up? And then you'd hear real quiet, you know, because <laughs> uh, there are ways to tell. It would get, it would get softer. Sometimes, you know, and all of a sudden it's like, I really can't hear you. I think my neighbors are on the line. Click, click, click. Yeah. Oh, now I hear you fine. So, uh, um, yeah, that was called a party line. This, uh, you see this little pedal right here? Can you step on that? That part. Wow. Look at that. The little pedal control. That, that's even cooler than our refrigerators now, I think. Have your hands full and you need to put something in the fridge. Yeah. That now. Yeah. yeah. If, if you happen to be carrying around a bunch of plastic corn and you need to put it in the refrigerator, <laughs> you can just put it there. And th this part of it, this is still part of your refrigerator, you don't, but you don't see this. Now this now this part goes down the back. This is called a monitor top refrigerator. And of course, some of you might have. This, we have it in our house. That's one right there, by the way. She's taking the tour too. And um, yeah. My house used to have that. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. This is actually Sorry. original to the house. Oh. Um, and this is, you know, they're, they're covered, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Uh, these, these appliances probably weren't in the house, but it would have been the same sort of appliances. It's a Wedgwood stove from the 1930s. And, the dish pattern, is there a dish pattern? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, That's wow. Rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other rose. And in here is the bathroom. But the bathroom has a special feature, too. as what is called the truth wall. Um, basically, when, um, when the renovations were being done, um, they pulled some of this wall back, and they found of course, the original wall of the adobe. So this wall hasn't been seen for a hundred years. So this wall hasn't been seen for a hundred years. <coughs> and we noticed uh, uh, writing on the wall, a little bit of graffiti. Some kid drew a clock. Um, but it also just kind of shows the wall what it would have looked like in 1922, along with some modern retrofitting.
Anybody have any questions? So this was a huge upgrade, by the way, compared to the Elvisos, who had an outside kitchen. Acoustics, the last yeah. family to live here in the 80s? Yes. This. Yeah, so there were only two families from 1835 to about 1990. Um, just the Alvisos and the Cousies. That's pretty amazing yeah. to think of 150 years of the walls of this house just knowing two families. It's pretty rare. What was yeah. your question? Except that one actually has, did you notice the feet on the, on the, on the bathtub? The bathtub. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bathtub actually has feet. You can go back and look. Go take another look. October of 2022. <laughs> um, this will be for the new. Uh, it's still drying. For the uh, yes, it's still <laughs> drying. The now good. Yeah. Yeah. This is for the uh, um, grand opening, which will be next Wednesday. We have a little uh, ceremony out here. So let's move over here. Outside side about how to look in the kitchen, but you've already got to see it. Yeah. 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 the uh, at the house here we can we can kind of orient ourselves to see mm -hmm. where the uh, um, all that would have been vineyards mm -hmm. and that there was uh, there, there were other adobes around here too on the other side um, this right here is the uh, Dominguez adobe mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if you can live there but let's uh, see um, and and other outbuildings. This is this is the kitchen he was talking about. Um, it's called a horno stove. Yeah. Horno oven. Like an oven. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was really good for baking bread and things like that. Um, and so if we look over that way, there these houses are. Mm -hmm. uh, there would have been a corral. Oh, cool. And this I'm not too sure about. The, this is the that river creek. that yeah, runs that, down that here. This is the creek. And they, they show a grist mill here with the water diverted through it. That's what I was going to ask like about. Like there'd be that a water wheel sort of thing. Yeah. I don't think that this would have actually worked. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Uh, I'd like to find out where they got that information. Um, but uh, it, does, it doesn't seem to be... That there's probably not enough power in this river, let alone uh, to diverting it. it like this, you yeah. know. Probably uphill. So, um, you know, that's... Uh, well, actually... I mean, it's coming downhill, right? It's, yeah. there is, there's, a, there's, a, there's a slight grade. The point is, is, I think Bill and I would make the same point. I don't, we don't think there would be enough hydraulic force yeah. to it's actually cool. power something that's going to be grinding. Because, you know, with wrist mills, basically what you're doing is you're taking grain 
and you're basically grinding it with large stones. And mm -hmm. so you need hydraulic power for that. Yeah, I mean, if you look at other kinds of ones, they'll actually be a, a high creek mm -hmm. and they'll be building and there'll be a big water wheel. Right. They'll, they'll drive that water wheel and fall down into the lower creek. That's the way that you would normally see a water powered mill. Yeah. A lot of times they just have a big grinding stone that's yes. uh, that, that you know, rotary grinding stone that you can, you can you can just well one of the things instead of this is you hook a, a donkey yeah. up to it and they and simply they go around, around in circles yeah. and they Little basically transfer the motion yeah so yeah. there's it's not hydraulic at all yeah it's, but, it, but you probably wouldn't do it in a building like this with a donkey uh the grist mill. We don't, and we don't have. And we don't well, have, never heard that. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a really, that's a really loud horse, isn't it? <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, we, we, I guess we could dig up Jose and ask him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or Bill and I, we talk about what we need is a time machine, so he and I can just drop back in and say, let's have a conversation. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming for of our tour. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, thank Love you so much for your doing feedback. That. You guys tell them all the thoughts that you have. Yes, Especially the kids. Yes. You're the first kids through. Yeah. The reservoir. Yeah. But if yeah. you're doing the entire drive around to, oh, to uh -huh. then it's a good 40 minute It'll drive. It'll take you to Sanol because to get it's, to, yeah. Yeah. to go through. I, I used to, to go get, to Sanol. I would yes. do that dab too. That's the back road, yeah. I didn't like, it's been a long time since I've done it. Probably like. 11, 12 years. And yeah. with commute traffic, yeah. commuters heading that direction, yeah. they'll just yeah. zip through. Yeah. So you want to make sure you're not coming back. The wrong way. Right, right. It turns out it's, it's, it's very narrow. It's so narrow. Yeah. Yeah. It's really narrow. Yeah, it's, it's, I have not been up there in so many. I, yeah, I'm like a scaredy cat now. With Now that I have kids, I'm always like, you know, paranoid and anxious driving around. But I remember it yeah. was very narrow going yeah. up there. It still is. <laughs> it still, yeah. Yeah, oh. it still is. And by the way, the uh, so they built a dam, uh -huh. and that's what allowed them to collect water and form the reservoir. Mm -hmm. uh, they built a rail line mm -hmm. to actually carry materials. So there was a rail line that came up here mm -hmm. during the, that construction. And the trains, you know, hauling yeah. locomotives, pulling stuff up. Wow. And the, 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 the interesting side story to that was is that the dam failed before they completed it. Oh. So they had to build the dam twice. Oh. <laughs> it was yeah, an, yeah, that dam dam twice, yeah. <laughs> that dam, dam. It was an earthen dam, uh. and, it, and it failed on them. Oh, the, man. Yeah. Uh, that added a few days to the construction time. So you saw in the film, they kept referring to the sycamore tree of raising the kids under the sycamore tree and and they had they had events under the sycamore tree this this was you know a, a good party area for them um, and this tree has been here you know this this tree saw them you know they saw it, it uh, yeah that tree is uh, how old do you think the tree is uh, Close to 200 years old. And so the original Avobe was that room, the first room we went into over there? Uh, no, the original huh? the original adobe was the first three rooms. Oh, okay. So so the middle room was the sala, the living room. And the side two rooms were were bedrooms. And of course the restroom would have been outside. Kitchen was outside. So there's a lot of, you know, you did a lot of living outside. So it was a three room Avobe. There's a three-room adobe. Ah, okay, that's right. And uh, and then in 1853 they added the second floor, which added mm -hmm. more bedrooms. And then in 1922, 1923 they added this space here. The this area. is the kitchen. Yeah. Got it. But it came out to be a pretty nice house. 